Lecture 27, Declarative Navigation with Navigator 2.0, WebLN Service Defining State Fields and Notifier Methods. In this lecture we'll set up the WebLN Service State Variables and Notifier Methods, for that first open WebLN Service.dart file and locate to do, private variable fields and replace it as. Here we just define private variables which is only accessible inside WebLN service class. Now locate to do, getters for private variable fields and replace it as. Here we define getter methods for each property. We cannot change these properties outside WebLN service class. This is important for the unidirectional flow architecture, where we don't change state directly but only via function calls or dispatched events. Next locate to do, set invoice method and replace as. So here we're setting the invoice private variable with the invoice parameter, which set invoice method will accept, and setting invoice status to true and notifying all the WebLN service listeners. Now as we've defined set invoice method we can call it from the make invoice method, for that locate to do, calling set invoice method and replace it as. So here we're just passing the payment request to the set invoice method, remember that payment request value is nothing but bolt 11 invoice. Next locate to do, underscore set payment status method and replace it as. So here we're setting the payment private variable with the payment parameter, which set payment status method will accept, and setting payment status to true and notifying all the WebLN service listeners. Now as we've defined underscore set payment status we can call it from the send payment method, for that locate to do, calling underscore set payment status method and replace it as. Here we're passing the payment status to true and payment value. Also in the catch block when the error occurs, we'll just pass the payment status to false, as while accepting the payment we've defined it as optional in the set payment status method. Finally replace to do, invalidate method as. So here we're, initializing the invoice status to false and setting the invoice value to null. That's it for this lecture. Thank you.